What's happening people? Welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly. Now guys, in this video, I'm actually back on the charts. This is no story, no more story time. We're back on the Forex charts. I know I've been away for a while. I've been so stressed out with a lot of things that are going on and you know, I just wanted to quickly apologize to you guys. However, you know, there's a there's there's a monthly challenge going on. It's a 10% monthly challenge that's going on and I feel the need that I need to come on here to kind of like support you guys with the analysis okay you guys want to make a lot of money this year you guys want to buy your house make that million dollars that you've been talking about for a while now so my duty is to come on here and obviously support you guys on the channel with my technical analysis so that you guys can make as much money as you fucking want okay guys so very first thing is i've written down a couple of prayers i want to speak about the euro um AUD usd gbp usd oil and bitcoin these pairs are very important to me because these are the pairs i'm going to be trading for the foreseeable future at least for the next 12 months so all you need to do is sit back relax i've missed you guys so much i missed you guys so much and it feels good to be back on the charts actually so all you need to do is sit back relax jump into my charts with me and then um listen to everything i have to say and hopefully you guys get to make some money off of this analysis as well but before i go to my charts wanted to say a big shout out to all the forex mastery students guys the amount of students we've had enrolled between november and date is ridiculous right everybody's loving it i'm seeing all this it's okay guys my mom is here actually helping me record but that by the way i've been seeing all the screenshots of you guys making a lot of money and i'm really really proud to be your coach your mentor your instructor whatever the case may be so enough about all of that um let's jump into the charts for those of you who haven't grabbed the course of course as always the link is going to be down in the description as, as the link is going to be down in the description as always guys let's go pardon me i'm a bit rusty it's been a minute let's go welcome guys welcome back inside of my screen oh my goodness it's so amazing to have you guys back on my charts um i haven't actually looked at a chart all year so today as of when i'm recording this video today is the 30th of january 2022 um like I was saying in the introduction of this video, I have been dealing with a lot of stuff personally. Um, don't worry, I'm fine now. However, if the mind isn't exactly at a good place or in a good place, it's almost impossible for you to make the best trading decision. So I had to make sure that I saw that everything that was, you know, bothering me personally, you know, just to make sure that I could come on here and give you guys the absolute best. Um, I haven't, I have only placed one trade this year, which I'm going to be explaining to you guys which of them I placed. And we're going to be talking about the outlook for the year. What pairs am I looking at? What pairs do I feel you guys should be looking at? And how you guys can go about making a significant amount of money this year. Now, um, obviously, like I was in, in my first video that I released this year, we were talking about the 10% a month challenge. So the 10% a month challenge is whereby, you know, we pick the best trades possible for the year and we look to only make 10% a month so that's one trade a month and at the end of six months we're looking to obviously have grown our account by 60% and then start looking for investors so like I was saying earlier um, in my previous videos I am here to help you guys achieve that goal and oh my goodness guys I feel so much better I feel lighter and it's amazing to be back on my charts I've missed trading I miss forex um, but I mean, guys, just look on the bright side of things. For me, um, this gave me time to um, gave me time to give the market time because all the time I wasn't really focusing on the charts and dealing with my shit. <laughs> you know, I was um, I was looking at the charts like passively, and I noticed that the, the market wasn't exactly cooperating, and I saw a lot of traders getting burned. You know, and you know they were not making a lot of money. The market was ranging. There was a lack of direction. You know, so, so, so sometimes um, you staying away from the market is actually doing yourself a lot more good than, you know, harm. So, sorry guys. So that's pretty much it. Anyways, in, enough of the talk. Let us look at what I'm looking at at the moment. I've actually written down some pairs that I want to speak to you guys about today. Um, and obviously I'm going to be doing some justice to the pairs as always. So the very first pair that I want to speak about is the Euro USD. Now, the Euro USD is the only trade that I've placed this year. And as you can see, if you're a Forex Mastery student, um, you would really, you, you would kind of like understand, you know, why exactly it is I'm in this trade at the moment. So, um, why the Euro? Why Euro USD? What exactly is fascinating me about the Euro USD? So, let's quickly do a top down analysis. Forex Mastery students, you already know how to do this. 
it's not actually even rocket science okay so if i just come on the weekly time frame so what is what exactly is happening with the euro at the moment is very very simple and straightforward right so there's this double top that formed on the weekly time frame now i'm using my green levels just to map it out just for the sake of you know understanding and you know ease of you know being able to understand what exactly is going on um i don't really have the time to start mapping out key levels at the moment um but for those of you who want to learn how to map out key levels don't forget to grab the forex mastery course the link is always going to be down in the in the description below okay I'll teach you how to do all this stuff anyways so obviously we can see a double top form here so guys what how i like to trade is i like to trade the most obvious things I, i'm not i'm not the type of trader who likes to complicate things is when you start to complicate things you run into issues right so i've been looking at the euro for a while last year this exact same time last year i think the euro must have been trading somewhere about here yeah actually january yeah december and all that so we, we actually made some good money shorting the euro all the way down here we tried to buy some it came back down we actually tried to buy the euro we made all this money all the way to the upside so the euro most of last year was um gave us some money um but it didn't give us as much as we, I, I would have loved for the euro to give to me now why was that the case so let's understand something here right so i was expecting the euro to obviously this is a high higher low higher high higher low i was expecting the euro to push higher somewhere around here make a higher high somewhere around here however that didn't happen we came around here and stalled okay we came around here and stalled i was looking for further upside now anytime the market is not looking to go higher if the one anytime a trend is starting to get exhausted um you will start to see it from the way you know price behaves you start to see that you know for every time you get into a trade for every time you buy you know you, you're expecting the market to go in a particular direction it's just being sluggish it will go up come back down you'll go so this is the very first sign that hey this trend might be in danger so what now happened was the double top eventually formed now once i start to realize that the market is a bit hesitant you know a bit hesitant in going in the direction that i want it to go what i usually like to do is i just like to if i'm in a trade you know i just move my stop losses to break even try and lock in some profit and stuff like that but if i'm not in a trade what i like to do is i now i like to leave the market to do what it has to do so you have to understand that the, the market has to do what it has to do there are certain technical levels that the market needs to fulfill in order for it to start heading in its preferred direction so the euro for instance wanted to give this double for instance we thought you know looking at this you think is a trend reversal the market was going to drop down you wanted to come and form a double top the market will always forex mastery students right I preach this over and over on the program. The market will always do what it has to do. It will always tell you. You just have to look out for it. For example, what is the easiest way to identify a trend reversal? Double tops and double bottoms. If you go on module 5 on the course, you see it there. Module 4, module 5. Trend reversals on what weekly time frames? And as you can see, it, the market did it just here. So once this happened, once this happened, sorry, my phones are distracting me. <laughs> Once this happened, so I just chilled and I was just watching. I just said to myself, okay, I'm just going to watch what happens. And then, as you can see very carefully, the neckline of this pair has been broken. Okay? The neckline of this pair has been broken. Now, you also, Forex Mastery students, you also know the strategy when it comes to trading trend reversals. What do we do? We wait for the break of the neckline. I can't really disclose that here because obviously it's, it's a bit proprietary information to the students. However... The, the, the trend reversal has happened and then we have officially officially reversed this up euro usd trend that was happening it was a very nice smooth move to the upside and made a lot of money however the double top on the weekly time frame has come and now we're now currently facing downwards now the higher time frame will give you its direction. I don't argue with the higher time frame. If it says it's going up, I'm only going to look for buy opportunities. If it says it's coming down, I'm only going to look for selling opportunities. And as we can, as you can see right now, the euro is pointing downwards. Double top. Apart from double top, the the head and shoulder. Double top. The neckline of the head. Double top and the neckline of the double top has been broken. Once it breaks and we close down, best believe that the market is actually heading in that direction. And in this case, the market is heading south. So, um, 
just by looking at this how did i get into this trade this was very simple and straightforward all i did was i allowed the market so you guys know so th this is where the top-down analysis works right so we go on monthly to identify our direction weekly is to plot our key levels and look out for any possible trend reversals on the daily time frame okay this is to reinforce the knowledge from the uh, from the forex mastery course the daily time frame is where we come and look out for the most immediate trend within the overall trend what does that what exactly does that mean simple and straightforward now we can't trade on the monthly time frame i see a lot of questions like hi dabs um you talk about monthly time frame but my account size is small i can't trade on the monthly time frame it'll take me 10 years five years the truth is you don't trade on the monthly time frame you don't trade on the weekly time frame those time frames are what they call time frames for analysis perspective overall views okay the daily time frame is where you now start looking for trading opportunities however the trend on the daily time frame, and as you can see pretty nicely, the trend on the daily time frame must be in line with its predecessors, the weekly and the monthly time frame. Okay, so if the monthly and weekly are saying bearish and the daily is saying bullish, then there's a conflict. You're going to have to wait for the daily time frame to now start heading in the direction of the overall time of the overall flow of the market, so that you don't get into any trouble, right? So monthly has said downwards weekly has said downwards i simply came on the daily time frame and i now looked for the trend within the trend and as you can see pretty nice pretty relaxed and um i wasn't able to find any decent entries right about here this was the first entry signal that i got however like i said um i wasn't really paying attention to the market and we were still kind of close to the neckline however simple trend line okay first touch of the trend line second th touch of the trend line third touch of the trend line always does the trick i screen this over and over on the forex mastery course simple and straightforward just join the trend lines waited for the pullback into into resistance so there's this thing that always happens in the market right once we come back down below a major level so this is let's say the, the, the level is here and the market is coming and it breaks and it comes down right what usually tends to happen is the market will usually pull back into this region this region will now act as like a like a ceiling right it will just click it it will hold on to it and then it will fall so what i actually have in front of me right here is a significant amount of confluence this for me signified a lot of confluence third touch of the trend line i also saw first of all trend reversal trend was pointing down okay trend line on the daily time frame okay pull back so we also had resistance as well and fibonacci okay so this is a typical willis zone setup as you can see typical willis zone setup and i can tell you for free i've already taken out 50 percent of my position right about here second level target is at the 0.27 extension and overall oh sh sh this button messed me up and i and i can tell you for free just by looking at the euro that the overall target for the euro sorry my charts are a bit um a bit wonky today but it's all right you guys get the gist right i can tell you for free that the overall target for the euro usd at the moment is going to be at 1.0793 as long as we carry on let me just look left if there's any reason why that might not be happening um is there any reason why these two will not be joined together in holy matrimony okay actually that's a bit well this zone if there's a way i can merge this give me a sec guys the thing about the euro is the euro has been in the, in this nasty range for so long so there are many so many spikes um so the best way for us to identify this is if we draw a trend line from top to from bottom to top guys watch this is the thought process of a seasoned trader okay if you're confused about levels look for where the trend lines join and then if it if i was i was thinking maybe this should have been a level but I was com I was contemplating this level or this level, okay? Both of them are look quite significant. However, this is more significant because this is also a point of the trend line, okay? There's a rule in Forex that states that those these points of this, as the market is coming down, it will respect these major zones on these major points on the trend line. Sorry, guys, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't been on the YouTube in a while. I haven't haven't been on the charts talking like this for a while so just pardon me but 
you get the gist everything here is definitely going to pan out um you have nothing to worry about so guys that's euro usd in a nutshell now you're probably asking yourself how exactly can i take advantage of this yes i know the ship has sailed however one thing about i one thing i know about forex I can tell you for free one thing i do know about forex is that the market doesn't move in a straight line okay once this guy gets to the 0.7 extension this bad boy here once we fall all the way down to the o point so first level the next level target for the euro at the moment is 1.1549 now once this happens okay once this happens once we achieve this target right let me just delete all this stuff so that nobody's confused let me just map this out pretty nicely. Um, rotated rectangle spot here somewhere. Okay. Here. Let me just map this out properly. So what I like to do is once I map out all my levels, um, once all my things, I just like to delete stuff so that it doesn't confuse me or anything of that sort. So I usually take out all this stuff. And as you can see, um, this is the next level target for the euro. But guys, what I want you guys to see here is all this space to the downside. So what do you then need to do once, because right now we've identified the overall direction for the euro, right? So what you do... Oh, Oops, sorry guys. So what you then need to do as a trader, Forex Mastery students, go back to the module whereby I teach you guys my entry and exit strategy, right? What you then need to do is, all you need to do is wait for the market to collapse into here, break here a little bit, look for pullbacks. Look for pullbacks. The market just isn't going to drop except some major news comes out so all you need to do is look for pullbacks around this region once the market pulls back you know how to enter a trade just simply do what you need to do you know what i mean just do this kind of trend line make it happen scissors it in there and then as the market is about to drop again start selling so the euro in a nutshell is heading overall target at the moment is 1.04631 we still have a significant amount of pips to go we have well over 100 almost 200 pips to drop okay so there you go ladies and gentlemen the euro usd you heard it here first i'm sorry i wasn't you know mentally not mentally obviously i'm not mentally unstable but i'm sorry i wasn't just in the headspace to come on here and obviously update you guys on this trade before it actually happened however i mean the trade oh and the trade is falling okay so that's the euro i wanted to speak about the euro the euro um is a sell for me it's sell all the way i will be holding on to this trade for dear life okay i'll be milking this you know so this at the moment i'm currently up about six percent no no five point six percent hold on i'm just checking my thing at the moment 5.6 percent i am up on this trade as we speak so what i usually like to do is instead of placing too many trades on different pairs i would if as long as this market continues to make lower lows and lower highs i will hold it so instead of relying on five different or four different trades to make me 30 or 40 percent i would i would rather just rely on one trade place the trade you know just manage my trade manage my risk and go and do other things than to always constantly keep looking at the chart so that's another hack for you guys right you just look for one pair that is trending stick your money there lock in your profit just keep it coming every two to three days to lock in your profit and just allow the that's the that is to be honest that is the best way to trade forex okay no need to always be looking here and there look for one pair that's trending jump on it and just keep locking in your profit as time goes on and then just hold on to it and then you that's exactly how you get to you get to watch the market make money for you so enough about the euro sell 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 all the way the next pair i want to speak about is a couple of pairs that are not exactly giving me what i want however they are on my watch list for the year okay so the first one is AUD USD. now AUD USD, i need to go on higher time frame so that you guys can actually understand the gist for AUD USD, right? For those of you who want to learn how to map out your charts like this, want to understand how I trade and why I do what I do and how I'm able to be right now out of 10 times, the Forex Mastery course is always there for you. The link is in the description below, okay? So um, let us talk about AUD USD, right? So I'm sure you guys can see AUD USD. Now I'm bearish on AUD USD. Now you're going to ask me, Mr. Willis, why exactly are you bearish on AUD USD? Now let's do a quick top down analysis. Let's do a quick top down analysis on AUD USD. 
So for AUD USD, um, you guys were all with me um, when I wrote this from my you from when I really started posting on YouTube. I did a top down analysis. We banked one thousand pips bang down here. Okay, even the market even spilled all, all the way down here. We started to pull back up. I wasn't really interested until the market came back somewhere around here. Let me zoom this in so that you guys can see. Until the market came back somewhere around here, we chopped all this money all the way to the upside. Bam. Even when we were chopping all this money all the way to the upside, I already knew that the next level target was going to be here. Obviously, with all these key levels, you know, the way that I plot my key levels, I already know where the market is most likely going to end up to before it gets there. Like, I can anticipate for 1,000. Like, for I'll give you an example. If AUD USD drops here, if it breaks here, we're coming down here. So, I can easily, just by looking at the monthly time frame, I can tell you for free that if AUD USD breaks 0.69, call it uh, 7, 0.700, because I think this is 0.700. Yeah, right. So this is a round number, right? And AUD USD, AUD USD always respects round numbers. So I can tell you for free that if AUD USD breaks 0.700, next level target is going to be 0.600 all the way down here. So this is exactly how I'm able to anticipate thousands of pips into the future. It's not rocket science, no indicators, no signals. None of that can give you this. It is a skill you need to learn, and once you know how to do it, the market becomes your ATM machine. Like, I'm going to release a video next whereby I, I, I explain to you guys how I went from being broke. So, something happened, I invested in a business that made me lose a lot of money. It wasn't trading, don't worry. <laughs> so, I taken all the money that I, my hard earned money I made from this market. You guys know it's not easy to make money in Forex. All the money that I made from Forex, I had gone to invest it in another business and I lost it all in that business because I was trying to diversify in quotes, trying to diversify and everything. And I had $1,000 left. And in that video, I'm going to be explaining how I then used my last $1,000. Actually, it was $1,600. I used $500 to pay my rent and $100 at the time to eat. And I had $1,000 and I put it in my trading account and how I was able to use $1,000 to bounce back into some cool hundreds of thousands to millions okay so that's going to be obviously my next video so like i said if indeed you want this market to be your atm machine this is a skill you have to learn you can't keep shining away nobody's going to trade for you and if you ask anybody to trade for you they will blow your account okay they will blow they have hungry sharks out there that are wanting to blow people's accounts hungry sharks sharks out there that are wanting to what blow people's accounts which is you know they, they just they're just sharks, man. So you need to learn how to do this stuff for yourself. And signals are not going to help you. Those indicators, they won't help you. You need to understand. And it's not even that difficult. Forex mastery students can testify to this. It is not even that difficult for you to, you know, learn how to do this market properly. And, you know, just learn how to do this stuff properly. It's not even that deep. Give me a sec, guys. I think my Wi-Fi just went on and off, off and on. Anyway, so... Sorry, I went on a quick rant there. Anyways, long story short, if we break here, we're going to come here. So, for every time I get into a trade, I already exactly know, I kind of like have an idea where the market is going to head to next. Now, what does this mean for AUDUSD? Now, just by looking at AUDUSD from a higher time frame perspective, the overall flow of the river is pointing this way, downwards. And as you can see, this market has come into major trend line resistance. Now, guys, this is not just any and any trend line, right? This is trend line that is dating back to 2001 okay oh my goodness 2001 okay it touched again in 2013 and now it's coming to touch again you know it touched again you know in march of two, um march of last year right so as you can see we've tested here this is major resistance that has been holding this market for god knows how long since 2007 tested 2010 so all these levels that i'm showing you guys are levels that they are ogs in the game and everything seems to be pointing this way so this is exactly how i come on monthly time frames and i'm able to anticipate what's going to happen next i just use my eyes and use the clues and excuse me I just use my eyes and use the clues in front of me, you know, just to, yeah, sorry, my beard, I don't really have a beard, but my mustache, the stuff, <laughs> every time I drink water, it just looks a bit funny, so, long story short, guys, 
AUD USD at the moment. So the monthly is telling us down. Let's see what the weekly is saying. I'm gonna quickly do this so that I don't waste too much of your time. It's probably been a lot as we speak. So you know AUD USD has. I remember I was shorting AUD USD most of last year. I made a lot of money on AUD USD. Um, I remember jumping on this trade. I cut all this move to the downside. We tried to sell again. The sell wasn't happening. We lost some money here. However, the market pulled back up here significantly. I saw what was happening once we came back down here. Sell again. Because this market came shy of here. No, shy of here. I'll be pulled back. I was expecting it to come down. Because the overall target is here. Look what happened, guys. Even if the... To show you how reliable the strategy I teach on the Forex Mastery course is. Even if the market doesn't come to the blue zone initially... We'll pull back and attempt it. Even if it doesn't happen, you can see that the market will still find its bearing back here. So it is something you need to believe in and you need to trust. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to forex trading strategies, it's all about trust. If a trader finds a strategy that they can trust, they will become so rich. It's lack of trust that causes blown accounts. Okay, lack of trust, and as you can see, these levels that I map out, they always they they are you know, they like super glue. They hold. Do you get what I mean? And as you can see, we tried to sell it again. It wasn't happening. We took a small loss. The market came back down. As it came down, started selling again, and bam, it came up. So at the moment, we're currently testing here for a double bottom. So uh, as we speak at the moment, the market is a bit 50-50. The higher time frame, high TFs are all telling me down. However, this major level right here is holding this market from falling lower. So I would need to see a clear break of this region, a clear break of this region for further downsides. Once we can break this region, ooh, that means we would have the euro bearish, AUD USD bearish, we would have a fantastic 2022. All I'm looking out for is a clear trend, okay? And at the, at the end of the day, once the market starts to trend, all that one I'm saying 60% in six months, you'll probably have 300% in six months because once the market starts to trend, it's as easy as clicking sell, closing your laptop, I'm going to chill. Okay, once everything is trending, but the problem always lies where the market is not exactly trending. So we have to always try and navigate through the spikes and the this and the all that. So, you know, we'll put everything to God's hands. Hopefully this year is going to be a trending year. But regardless whether the market trends or it doesn't trend, we will still make that money. Make that money. <laughs> so um, that's pretty much AUDS. So AUDS is, is, is a very straightforward situation. Once we can take out this level, we're good to go. However, if we hold here, it's going to be a whole different ballgame. So I'm not going to speak about if we hold and stop pointing up because when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. But for now, I'm expecting further downside once we break here. Same situation for GBPUSD as well. Key level needs to be broken. We have attempted this triangle breakout it didn't happen this resistance bar held it as a matter of fact even if i take this out this resistance bar held it so gbp usd might be forming a, an inverse head and shoulder right now this could be the left shoulder right shoulder head potential push to the upside however however it looks like the dollar is looking strong across board okay so at the moment gbp usd is a bit confused but i will be anticipating further downside if indeed we do break it but right now things are a bit 50 50. the reason why i'm coming on here to tell you guys is, is so that you don't run into issues okay it is very relaxing okay to know that the market isn't exactly ripe and ready to go so that you don't think that oh I'm a bad trader, I'm making bad trades, things are not just happening out for me. The market just isn't ready, okay? So this is one thing you have to take into consideration. AUD USD and GBP USD are both testing major levels as we speak. Those key levels would then tell us what after those levels are broken. If we bounce off of it, then we can reanalyze and trade in that direction. However, those levels need to be broken. And once they're broken, then we can now see what's going to happen next. So that's um, spoken about the euro. AUD, USD, and GBP, USD are still, they are kind of like um, in the same boat. We're waiting for them to break this key level so that we can now see a clear trend and then start looking for pullbacks for potential trading opportunities. Now, the next two pairs that I want to speak about are oil and Bitcoin. I usually don't like talking about Bitcoin. However, Bitcoin will be the last thing I speak about today. Okay, so 
Let's look at oil first. Now, I remember calling oil. Oil was trading about maybe $70 a barrel. I remember shouting, oil is going to get to blah, 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 blah. Oil has indeed hit my first level target. As you can see, all these lines have been mapped out here for a very long time. I haven't touched my oil chart for a while. I've been holding on to oil for a very long time. However, the disadvantage of oil is that it is a futures contract and it expires. So I'm having to use a third, um, I'm having to go directly to the source. I'm having to use a bank. Um, I'm having to use a bank to kind of like hold my oil positions on like a seven month contract for oil. Um, so yeah, it's a different arrangement I've had to use. But at the same time, if you come from an oil producing nation, I can tell you for free that things are starting to look really good for oil. Imagine, um, I remember that it was my oil analysis that helped me close my first ever billionaire investor. I just simply looked at the chart and from what I could see, oil prices were falling at the time. However, right now, if I look left, oil prices are on the rise. And as you can see, if you look left, uh, we've broken the first level target, which is $85 a barrel. Next level target, you heard it here first, for oil is $92 a barrel. Once we can break here, we're gonna go all the way back up to $108 a barrel. So this is the power of being very proficient in technical analysis. This is, a, I can go on, uh, I can go, like I just, literally gave an announcement now the first announcement i gave was oil was going to come here and it came here we pull back and it's back here and i'm seeing it here oil is going to get to 92 dollars a barrel because i'm seeing it and it's going to happen i become a magician so you can become a magician if you just learn how to do this shit properly right once we break 92 108 dollars a barrel now think about it guys a lot of the big companies in the world the banks and big boys they rely on things like oil so I'm, after this analysis, I'm going to get on the phone with some really, really big boys, uh, some hedge funds that are managing $15 billion, $20 billion dollars, uh, you know, in, in assets, right? And I'm going to say to them, just by looking at my charts, oil is going to get to $92 a barrel. And then they stake a lot of money behind it, and it does get there. Do you know what that means? You are a magician. News news networks are going to be looking out for you everybody's going to be like who is this person right this is the power of forex mastery course it will teach you how to analyze these things properly so you don't have to keep relying on any freaking telegram signal group to tell you buy sell click up down just look at just learn how to do it yourself i can tell you always going to get to this next level and going to get to 92 dollars a bar now in regards to if you guys should be trading oil Entries at the moment are very slim. I have so a couple of traders on the course who are actually long oil from about here. I've been long oil for a very long time. My position is a bit long term. I'm holding up to 92. My first level targets were taken on 92. I'll also be holding to $108 a barrel. So just wanted to speak on oil, just in case Bloomberg and CNN and CNBC are watching. You hear it here first on Depsy Television. Depsy Television. I'm predicting oil prices are gonna get to $92 a barrel. After that, it's $108 a barrel. Barrel. Nigeria, Angola, the United States and Saudi Arabia, the Middle East, you have nothing to worry about. We are getting our oil prices back thanks to OPEC and DAPSI, of course. <laughs> so there you go, guys. The last thing I want to speak about is BTC. Now, a lot I know a lot of people, are, oh, this is the wrong BTC chart. I had BTC open, okay, this is. Now, what's happening with Bitcoin is very simple and straightforward. I remember talking about Bitcoin when Bitcoin was here. And I told you guys in my last technical analysis video, I said, guys, this was back in November. I said, pray, pray that Bitcoin takes out this $64,783 mark. Pray, because if it doesn't take it out, this is going to signify a double top. And once this double top holds, I know technical analysis very well. Once this, I even put another line here to say, just pray that the thing pins here. Let me zoom in. I say, just pray that this thing pins here and fires up. It tried to pin here, and then the disaster struck. Bearish engulfing candle, engulfing one, two, three, four weeks off of a major level. Next week came this one. By this week, I already knew that BTC was done. Me too, I started shorting Bitcoin. I shorted BTC on my brokerage platform. For those of you guys who are wondering what broker I use, I use Infinox Capital. The link is going to be down there below. Don't forget to open an account with them. They are absolutely fantastic. They allow you to do all these things, right? So, me, I started shorting Bitcoin. And double top, you know, Forex Mastery students, once a double top holds, you know where the next level target is, the neckline. 
and unfortunately the neckline between the top and the unfortunately between the unfortunately for bitcoin the 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 the, the, the difference between the neck um, the double top and the neckline is thirty thousand dollars 30k drop i saw it once the once this happened I, it's unfortunate that i just haven't being myself to come on here to speak about it but bitcoin almost and it's not done falling no bitcoin still needs to come and test this 30 30k at least because look this is a major support 30k at least okay and then form a base here and probably spike 28 a little bit and balance it's not the end of bitcoin sure as long as this level can hold now uh, if this level now breaks ah uh, sorry people on your own but what i feel is going to happen don't be scared i feel like you know this is looking like a left shoulder head and then a base will form and then we'll probably rally all the way back into 60k somewhere around here you know so uh, i'm going to be watching bitcoin around this 32k region to be honest if we can form a base here and i start to see some bullish engulfing candles i will be putting some money into bitcoin but right now the market is in free fall work. this will take the better half of the first quarter of the year at least four months at least the first four months of this year this market will need to balance here so you know i'll be looking at maybe third week in april fourth week in april which is usually my birthday period for me to start looking for some buy opportunities in bitcoin so guys there you have it in a nutshell euro sells sells for euros look for selling opportunities aud usd and gbp usd need to break their current levels as we speak oil is gone btc it is where it is at the moment btc will pull back for a bit and then we can start looking for buy opportunities at about 30 uh, dollars a coin however we're going to need to allow it balance a little bit so guys I hope <clears throat> this video has shed light on some pairs. I'm not going to go into gold because gold at the moment has been in a range for one year. Madness. One year. But it, and March is going to make it one year. It's been in a range. Ridiculous. Now, it's a co completely understandable for gold because <clears throat> the market of gold was trending for like two, two and a half to three years. So it's just consolidating as we speak. So enough of that for now. These are what I'm concentrating on for the year. The euro is my primary focus. Second focus, AUD, USD, GBP, USD. Oil, I'm already in the trade. And then BTC, maybe I might be buying some, some BTC, maybe end of, April, end of March, end of April kind of region. So there you go, guys. I hope I've been able to shed some light on this. If your trades are not cooperating at the moment, it's fine. It's okay. The market needs to find its feet. It's still January in the year. We have 11 more months to trade. So guys, once again, thank you for staying to the very end of this video. Obviously, I have a little message to give you guys in my other screen. Now, let's go. Thank you so much, guys, for staying to the very end of this very, very lengthy video. As you can see, we discussed a couple of things. Um, we've gone through a couple of pairs. I hope this video has been able to bring you guys immense value because at the end of the day, this is exactly why I'm here on YouTube, to give you guys as much value as possible. Um, for those of you who are wondering how to get the Forest Mastery program, the link is going to be down in the description as, as always. Infinox is my broker of preference, the link is going to be down there as well. Please support the channel by subscribing and dropping me a comment. I am back on YouTube now, but this year is going to be different. We're going to have Trader Talk. We're going to have more lifestyle content, and you're going to be seeing a lot more behind the scenes. I'll be jumping on stage and doing a lot of fantastic things as well. Once again, it's yours, Trudy Dapolis. Take it easy, guys, and peace out.